so there is some sort of e-drama when it comes in the, to the metal community concerning Rings of Saturn. Apparently, Lucas Mann from Sa Rings of Saturn was accused of fakery, and then Jared Dines took down his video. Honestly, like, I listened to the clip myself, and it, I could hear the room noise. I could hear the picking of his guitar. It sounded like... It sounded like he wasn't faking, and it certainly didn't look like he was speeding anything up. Jared didn't need to do any damage control over this. I am sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Don't apologize. Nothing happened. People talked about it. And maybe some people think Lucas Mann is full of crap. Okay. Who cares? Why do we have to, like, side with anybody? It's just an interesting thing to talk about. People definitely fake their own stuff these days. Jared shouldn't have deleted the video. That's a really, really cool topic to talk about. I don't know why he deleted the video. And you can find the video. People... I've already re-uploaded it. They saved the video, so Jared shouldn't have taken it down. That was a mistake on Jared's part. He shouldn't have, and he shouldn't have apologized. There's nothing to apologize for. He didn't say anything wrong. I just think it's silly to, to act like this is some sort of controversial subject. People fake their stuff all the time. It's a normal thing to fake your stuff. Just be honest. Just be honest. I'm just, you know, I just think it's a little bit concerning, you know, if, if we're supposed to be friends. It just feels like your apology was just kind of backhanded, and it's just not a real apology, and this isn't how friends should act. I don't believe you guys are friends. You're trying to say you guys are friends? You guys aren't friends. You know, as much as I consider him a friend, I do kind of feel betrayed. To me, friends don't do stuff like that, man. Jared is clearly not your friend, Lucas. <laughs> This is stupid. This whole situation's stupid. You guys aren't friends. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. This is hilarious. Maybe Lucas Mann didn't fake his guitars, but he, he, he said that he plays his guitars live, but he also has a backing guitar because there's like a third guitar part that plays. And so they have, you know, they double up on that kind of stuff. But Rings of Saturn has no stage sound. What does that mean? It means we do not use speakers or cabinets that push sound into the audience. He's saying that, well, I'm still playing my part, you know, and that's cool. That's fine. You know, that's totally fine. And it's and if he's able to show that, yeah, these are I'm actually playing these parts, you know, cool. That's great. But there are bands that play live. They play their parts live. But what's coming out in the front is the backtracks of the guitars and what's playing through their through their own amps, you know, that are hardly mic'd and turned down in the sound by the sound guy, you know, because he doesn't want the people to actually hear it, is their actual live performance, you know, but no one really hears that because they're hearing the backing tracks. I don't know if Rings of Saturn does it. Well, I do know that Rings of Saturn does it because he admitted it, that they do it, at least to some extent, they do it. But does that mean that what we're hearing is all fake? No, not necessarily, but does it matter? Does it really matter? You know, if you care about Rings of Saturn and you want them to be as, as authentic as possible, tell them to get a third guitarist. It just comes down to the band and what they want to do, you know, but this whole drama is absolutely insane. It's so ridiculous. What's that one band that was clearly like, they, you know, punched in note for note guitars. Oh, Heart Machine, Heart Machine. Like the, the kind of stuff that they were doing there. <laughs> was just insane and it was cool to watch him play but it's also like wait this doesn't sound real at all like it's just <laughs> if heart machine was honest and they're like yeah we punched all the guitars in we punched it in note for note, for note. okay cool it sounds cool i'll still listen to it it'll be cool to see maybe you know maybe for recording purposes you did it that way but i'd still like to see a live version you know where you don't punch it in note for note and actually see you play it it in completion, flubs and all. It's just silly that people are acting like this is so, this is such a big deal, you know? I was already working on a new endorsement with a company that I was really interested in. I lost the endorsement opportunity. The prominent narrative that Lucas is so concerned about, the call out culture, you know, people form echo chambers and they, once they've established the narrative, they just keep repeating the lie. Welcome to earth. If you're being honest, then why are you so defensive about this? Why are you so concerned about it? Oh, my mental health. Why is your mental health at stake? 
oh, well, my career. Why is your career at stake? Oh, my, my, my friendship. You guys are actually friends? Lucas also makes the case that he doesn't think guitars are, uh, guitars are not a sport. And, you know, we shouldn't be comp playing competitively. That we, we are not in competition with each other as musicians. Especially in the metal scene, musicians are extremely competitive. It's natural. You want to be better because of competition. To say, well, we, it's just an artistic expression. No, it's not. It's not just artistic expression. It's, it's more than that. It's artistic expression. That's one facet of music, yeah. But it's also a display of competence. People talk about their bands like it's their favorite sports teams. And Lucas thinks that's wrong. I don't think that's wrong. I think it's cool to be like, I like this. I don't like that. I like this band better than this than this band because they do it this way. I like that better. You know, it's it's fine to express that. I do know for a fact, a, a big band fakes their guitars live. It's a prominent band on a prominent label. They fake all their guitars. It's all backtracked. And it's so that they can thrash around and rock out and get drunk beforehand and sound like they're amazing. And the only thing that they can't fake is their drums. So the drummer can't drink and he has to play at full speed and, at per and perfectly. And he plays to a bunch of backtracked guitars while the guitarists aren't actually playing. <laughs> you know, they're, they're playing their parts like through their amps and stuff, but the amps don't go through the sound monitors. They don't go to the stage monitors. To the audience, it sounds like, wow, this, these guitarists are just playing absolutely perfectly. And they know their parts enough to get through them for the naked eye to perceive it as like, oh, well, you know, it looks like it looks like it's real. But as Drusif perfectly demonstrated, it's very easy to make it look to trick your eye into thinking that something is actually being played when it really just sounds like nonsense. That's all for this reaction vid. Anyways. It's just silly. Everyone, everyone needs to chill out. Everyone needs to just chill out. One more thing I wanted to mention before I wrap this all up is that providing DIs at the end of your video to prove, you know, everything was clean and you played that clean and pure, that doesn't prove anything, by the way, because DIs can be edited. I'm sure Homeboy can play it. I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying defending yourself over this seems more suspicious than it would have been to just ignore it and just move on. And Jared shouldn't have apologized and he should have just left the video up and let the pieces fall where they may. But instead now it's just a giant mess. Anyways, that's, I just wanted to, I just want to mention that. And Max wanted to say hi. Max, can you say hi, buddy? Can you say hi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say hi?